Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. It is the one year anniversary of the Snyder Cut being released on HBO Max and Wayne T. Carr, Jon Stewart himself from the Snyder Cut has released a high res official look at his Jon Stewart Green Lantern from the Snyder Cut. Unfortunately, as we know, he was cut from the Snyder Cut. And this is a phenomenal, phenomenal image. Holy crap. This looks fantastic. This looks so, so good. And his tweet says, give the fans what they want. Justice League 2 and 3. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse in brightest day. It's a, I can't believe this thing actually exists because I didn't think we would actually ever see this officially because I think it was in the middle of last year, Zach himself, was, I think it was at a screening at Army of the Dead. I think that's what it was. And he showed on his phone to the crowd this shot. But it was blurry. People are kind of, of course, zooming in. But the quality, of course, is deteriorating once you start zooming in on stuff. But you can see, you know, a, 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 a decent shot. But this, I'm surprised this is actually released. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> like, I'm wondering if they got permission to release this. I, I don't know. Um, I'm wondering if this is from the actual scene that was cut that Zach had shot with Wayne for the Snyder Cut. Because as we know if you know your history, that this was originally going to be the character that Bruce Wayne interacts with at the end of the Snyder Cut, and that was replaced with Martian Manhunter. I'm assuming this is a promo shot of Jon Stewart, Green Lantern. This is not from the actual scene itself. I could be wrong, but I don't think so based off the background. I think this is just a promo shot, but it's fantastic. And Zach had talked about the design and everything, and I know, and also known that uh, Wayne has did a, did a bunch of interviews around the time we had heard about his casting and everything, um, talking about the design of the suit and the, of course, lantern logo, but like the hologram of it popping off like it is in the image. It's fantastic. I don't know if this is meaning anything in terms of we're going to be getting Just League 2 and 3 because, as we know, Warner Brothers is going through the merger with Discovery. There's a lot of talks of potentially Discovery bringing back the Snyderverse, which in terms of like having Zach complete his arc, uh, even though Warner Brothers at the time when the Snyder Cut came out says, yeah, his arc is completed, his trilogy's done. No, <laughs> that's not what he, he didn't plan for three films. So I don't know. And, and of course, the whole debate about, well, the Snyderverse is still continuing with Jason Momoa and Gal Gadot. It's like, that's not what we're implying. That's not what we're meaning. We're meaning restore what Zach wanted to do in terms of his Justice League 2 and 3, This what Wayne says in his tweet. Give the fans what they want. Justice League 2 and Justice League 3. Of course, the ending is pretty insane. And obviously, you know, there's no telling what's going to happen with that. But this is crazy. One year anniversary. But this is this is just great. You know, because for me, it's like, I want to see it. I want to see Justice League 2 and 3. Because there are so many things in the Snyder Cut. I am just shocked. They cut. Like, really? You cut all that? Then again, I'm not surprised, <laughs> you know, Warner Brothers. So the fact that we got the Snyder Cut, the fact that we got the four hour long Snyder Cut and he was able to shoot more, which this is something he shot in additional uh, in, in addition to everything that was coming back and being restored. And unfortunately, this was cut in the mix in terms of Jon Stewart. But, you know, we got the Joker, the Nightmare Joker sequence with Ben Affleck returning as Batman for that sequence and everything. It's like and it's even trending. Restore the Snyderverse. I mean, like. I don't know. I don't know. For me, it's like, look, the Snyder Cut had so many great things in it, in my opinion, and I want to see where it goes. And I'm assuming based off of the storyboards that Zach had planned, there's changes in there, because obviously I think he would make changes at this point. But he has a really good deal going on with Netflix in terms of his Army of the Dead verse, if you will, being expanded upon. And then, of course, he has Rebel Moon, which apparently – they're shooting Rebel Moon one and two back to back or something. I'm not really sure, but regardless, it's going to be like one of the biggest or the biggest Netflix film in terms of Rebel Moon. So he's got a good thing going on Netflix. So they would have to really try hard to bring Zach back to do his last two movies. But I don't know if he will. But I but in I think he would. But that's just me. But this is really cool that we got this this shot. It's fantastic. So so cool. But anyways. That's the little video. Um, it's crazy. It's been a year since the Snyder Cut came out. Um, I remember seeing it for the first time when it when it dropped, and I was blown away by it. And to me, it's still, of course, mountains and mountains, mountains high 
way better than the Justice Cut, the Justice League. So, anyways, that's the video. What do you guys think of the uh, shot of Green Lantern, John Stewart? Would you have Would you have preferred him over Martian Manhunter? I saw someone comment said that they would have loved to see Green Lantern, but they liked the fact that Martian Manhunter did get his moment in terms of being in the film prior to the sequence where he replaced John Stewart, but that was unfortunately due to Warner Brothers meddling still. But for me, it's like I, I want a Green Lantern in that shot. I want a Green Lantern in the movie in some capacity. But anyways, because we did see a version of Green Lantern in the history lesson, but you get my point. So anyways, that's a video. I'm going to go, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, yeah, restore the Snyderverse. Peace out, everybody.